Hello there. Welcome to the doctor's office. I am Dr. Alistair. And you seem to be very, very ill today. Hmm. Did you come down with the sickness? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, don't be uh, afraid. Uh, let me turn on the fan here inside the doctor's office. We'll put it on low. Ah, uh, yes, you can hear it. Good, 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 good. It's been a little stuffy here today, so I need to put a little bit of air on. Anyways, what's your name? Mm hmm. Date of birth? Hmm. Hmm. And I need your address and phone number. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That is good. Alright. So, what brings you here? Alright. Tell me more of these symptoms. Anything else? Alright. So, I'm not quite sure what it is quite yet, but we should get down to the bottom of it. Uh, let me see your hand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Alright, so I think I'm going to put the um, blood pressure reader on uh, so that you can we can get a proper reading of your blood pressure. Uh, so, give me a moment. I'm going to put it on your arm like so and start pumping the button and I'm pumping the button now. And I think that's about it. Let it slowly go down. You should feel the thumping of your blood pressure in your arm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, these readings look pretty good. Which is good. So let's move on to the next thing. Let's check under that there, um, tongue of yours. Hope you don't mind the popsicle stick. Mm-hmm. Check the back of your throat. Ooh, your breath still the smells. But I'm not a dentist, so can't give me any advice on that, so if I brush it. I know I can't talk, but you know. Alright, everything, everything seems to be good. A little bit of a tint of red, but nothing too bad, I don't think. Possible strep. Strep throat. No, it's, t it's too light, too light for that. So I think you're good. Let's see here. Let's check your ears. I'll use this utensil here. Can we look at your left ear? Hmm. Hmm. And your right ear? Ooh. Okay, so... I've deduced this to a ear infection. Yes, indeedy. You have so much built-up wax in there, I, I could probably make a statue out of it. <laughs> but no worry. I can help with that. But first... It was like trying to get past curtains to get to your ears, so I'm going to sit here and, if you don't mind, with my <clears throat> expertise, I will start, you know, cutting away at your hair just a little bit, just enough to get to your ear itself without having to travel through the eighth wonder of the world's biggest forest to get to it. So if you don't mind, I'm going to do this. A little bit there. I'm not gonna cut your ear, don't worry. Mm hmm. Perfect angle there. And there. And keep going here. Maybe I should have been a hairdresser. Hmm. Alright. Let's get that, get that away from your side of your face there. Alright, now the other side. You're like a fabulous already. Please tell me if I nick, nip you or something. You know, that way I don't get sued. I don't quite have the money yet. Charlie hasn't been paying me well at the hotel.
and marvelous. Put those down. Yes. <laughs> All right. So now that we're done with the hair. Uh, we're going to check out those ears again. Ugh. Hmm. I think what we're going to need to do is try to get out some of that ear gunk. Is that my expertise? But as your doctor, I want you to come back more for more so that I can entertain myself with this entire ordeal again. <laughs> so make sure you take care of yourself. Wink, wink. So that you don't have to come back here. Wink, wink. So. I'm going to take and try to get into those ears of yours. So here we go. Digging a little bit at the entrance here. Yep. Just like that. A little bit at the entrance. Ah. So disgusting. It's got like globs of golden brown dark brown ooey stuff coming out Ugh. this is your uh, right ear by the way uh. all right it seemed to be doing good at least well enough better than you were before but not exactly done yet let's get the other ears Huh? Mm hmm. Yeah. Ugh, that's disgusting. Ugh. Mm. It's a lot easier to say. And a little bit more. Hold on, hold your head still. I know it hurts a little bit. I just gotta dig deeper in there. And... Ah! There we go. Well, your ears have been clean to the best of my abilities. You should be able to hear a lot better now. I would say so. Ah. Alright, so. What we're doing now a hearing test make sure that you're okay can you hear this can you tell what it is exactly I'm blowing into a bottle good hearing all right do you hear this Do you know what that is? Correct. It is indeed me rubbing the water bottle. Now what is this? Come on, you got this. Oh, two out of three. Not bad. It was a water bottle again. It's that I was tapping the lid. Well, I suggest we do some blood work now, but I appreciate you don't like needles. So, I will schedule that for next time. Mm hmm. Yep, just for you. I'm kidding. You're taking your blood test right now, whether you like it or not. Come here. All right. I'm going to use the tiniest butterfly needle that I can because someone's scared of needles. So, let's do this. Three, two, one, and there's the pinch. And we are drawing blood now. Don't look at your arm. You'll pass out. I know you. All right, that's one, two filled. Here's another one. Mm hmm. All righty. Second one is done. And now the third one. And one more should do it. 
and filled up. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. You may feel a pinch again. Here's your band aid. Good. I'm gonna send this off to lab so they can uh, check it out. See what we're dealing with here. Uh, while you're at it, um, feel free to um, go to my YouTube channel and subscribe and turn on notifications so you can be, uh, you know, you can see more of these videos like this, you know. You're probably wondering who I'm talking to. Don't worry, it's just, it's don't worry about it. Now, let's see here. Everything seems to be fine so far. I'm waiting for Labs to get back. Once Labs gets back, then I should give you a call and you should be okay to come back for our next evaluation. But so far, you seem pretty healthy. I would probably prescribe you some cough medication and stuff like that and you should be okay. With that being said, see you next time and be healthy and happy. And don't forget, you're not fully dressed unless you're smiling. You're not fully dressed without one. Alright, goodbye.